So this is what you think I look like? Well, it's what I see. Fat. Stalwart, resolute. Stalwart, eh? Go on, then. How much? It's for you, Captain. It's a gift. Dear, dear. There's no way to make your fortune. Tell you what, I made a bomb last night in the Stardust with those Brazilians. You amazed me. I couldn't get as much as the time of day out of them. Well, they were a bit funny at first. I think they didn't like me sketching them. Some people don't, you know. Some people haven't got the profile. But when I was just about to pack up, one of them, nice as you like, came over and bought the whole lot. Send them back to proud mums in Sao Paulo. Base centre to Ilia. Captain Creasy, ahoy! Bag leg, me old fiend. What can we do you for? I'm after Melody Shaw. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I need to talk to her. Can you get her up to Comsen? You're out of your league there, mate. You can't afford to run her. Elliot, this is urgent. I'm being unreasonable. You've had this room to yourself for two weeks. With no time to use it. Now, tonight, I have a card game. You could play cards in the common room. Oh, come on. The last thing you want when you're playing for stakes like this is the bullet to come butting Look, in. Melody and I haven't had a night in together for weeks. Well, go to our room. I can't. It's not fair on Sarah and Victoria. Yeah. Coming here isn't fair on me. So it's first is on Gantry, too, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's the first of the month. They have their allowances. My God, you're immoral. God, you're so boring. <laughs> Look, this is our first night in together for weeks, and you're not going to spoil it. Melody Shaw to Comsen, please. Melody Shaw to Comsen. There you go. It's a bit basic, I'm afraid. Well, it can't be too basic for me. I found it quite useful when I used it. Morning. Hiya. No sign of Melody, I suppose. Oh, make signs of life last time I looked. Um, same time as usual, Anna. Five o'clock? Yeah, if that's all right. Fine. Oh, hi. Hello. Great news. I finally found that article, the one by Professor Varotta. Not going to get away without reading it, are you? Oh, I'm not. At least you can do after all the trouble I've been to. It's not going to do any good. I'm going to stick with biomechanics. Well, I'm going to bring it around tonight, and you can jolly well read it properly. Oh, not tonight. Melody and I are having a night in. Don't mind. Yeah, of course. It's fine. Um, tomorrow, Bab? Yeah, tomorrow's fine. Uh, just don't make any decisions till you've read it. I'm not joking, John. For tomorrow, it's really fascinating. All right. I promise you, it'll change your life. All right. <laughs> Me on TV. Just a couple of minutes. It's the solar scene's Jupiter Roundup. It was like a light bit after the mining news and interworld chemical survey. Goodness, um, Station well, who'll be doing it? I will. Roger, Centaur, permission yeah. to go for final I'm approach. I'm their stringer in Speed City. What's a stringer? We'll alignment maneuvers. I didn't know you were a stringer, Pegley. How long have you been a stringer? I'm their representative. Look, oh, Melody, will you do it? I need to know now. OK, Centaur, permission to go for docking. Come on. I've already I'm sold them the idea. They're really keen. I've told them you're known from Io to Moon Station as the Jupiter Nightingale. Oh. Very nice, very poetic. Um, I'll have to ask Lily. It's all fixed. All we need is you. Get down here for five and we'll have a quick run through. Oh, the shuttle doesn't leave till six. I'll send one up. Just for me? Just for you. Oh, goodness, I'm a star. I've got a dash. I'll see you in the Stardust. OK, Centaur, open hatches. Welcome aboard. My own private shuttle. This had better be good. I've got a lot to do. Oh, and if you get bitten by the work ethic. When is that paying their bills? It must have come as a shock. Good morning. Oh. Hi. Melody, I hear you're going to VNTV. How did you know about that? I only just heard myself. Well, I usually get to hear these things. What's this? They want to video me for solar scene. Oh, that's great. Does Harriet know? No, I'm just about to tell her. And Jean Francois. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later. Bye. It's a sign of encroaching old age, you know. What is? Fancying girls that young. Oh, in that case, half of Space City must be prematurely senile. Is there a reason for this visit, or did you just come to look at the little girls? I want to have a talk with you. Oh, Stefan, we talked all the way from Earth for five months. There was nothing else to do, remember? Of course you must go. Why don't you go, too? Oh, Sean oh, yes, please. No, I've got too much work to do. What do you mean? Don't be silly. This is really important. I'm not angry. Of course I'm not angry. There'll be plenty of other nights. I'll see you before you go, all right? 
you want to know what I think? Mm. I think you should stay here tonight. Stay here? Why? What's going on? Well, who knows? Stay and perhaps it won't happen. Anna, what do you want about? You can go out with anyone, Melody. It's who you stay in with that counts. Yeah, I know that. If you won't stay in with him, there are plenty who will. Like who? Victoria. Victoria? Oh, Anna. <laughs> Well, laugh if you like. You should see the way she looks at him. We've lost the Marinaris. What? Her orbit has taken her into the asteroid belt. We'll be out of comms for a week. I spoke to the medical officer. Tim Shaw's in a stable condition. Good. What do you want? I want you to come home with me. I am home. As a matter of fact, I rather like it here. For the time being, perhaps. You'll get bored. I have to get pretty damn bored before I come back to you. How is Captain Creasy? How should I know? I'm sorry if I am. Well, I overreacted on the Stardust. Don't worry about it. Don't give it another thought. It's a nice apartment. Our apartment down in Space City. It's light, it's comfortable. For Space City standards, it's even spacious. You could do a lot with that. All right, suit yourself. Sooner or later, you're going to need a friend, Rebecca. I've got lots of friends. I mean a friend that can get you out of the mess you've got yourself into. Oh, yes, and exactly what mess is that? You've had one close shave already. Look, go away, please, Stephanie. That business was Timothy Shaw. I said go away. It's always been the same, isn't it? The bigger the job, the bigger the cock-up. And this is the biggest job you've ever had. Job as well as really understanding. Yeah? Yeah. It's got a beaver away in the study lab. Hey, did uh, Harry ask where you were this morning? I told her I wasn't feeling well. <laughs> oh, good. That's what I told her as well. I can't help it if the boys buy me drinks. Yeah, well, you don't have to accept them all, Melody. Listen, what do you reckon for tonight? The blue or the black? Um, the black. Yeah? Blue's a bit of fit. No, Melody. The blue's a tighter fit. The black will look better on video. Mm. Hey, do you want to borrow my earrings to go with it? For best ones, can I? On one condition. Not the rabbit, Sarah. The rabbit oh, is not... it's my rabbit. No, it isn't. It was in the room when we came in here. And who was in through the door first? Me. I was in here a whole two minutes before you were. Would you want to borrow them or not? One week. You can have the rabbit for one Two week. weeks. If you won't stay in with him, I said, there are plenty who will. And she laughed and laughed. It's a great gift, that, Anna, to make somebody laugh and laugh. All right, but I know what I know. Yes, but I mean, Victoria, she's a nice girl, but she's not exactly Melody, is she? She's sober and she's studious. All Melody wants to do is party all night and every night. Yes, yeah, she does, doesn't she? And while she's down there singing, they're together in the study lab. Hardly the sort of place where passions run riot. Common interests. It starts with common interests. Yes, but it's going to take far more than a couple of sessions in the uncertainty principle. Well, first I start studying, then he starts nudging her. The way she smiles, the way she frowns, her hands, her eyes, her... Yeah, she's got nice eyes, I'll give you that. Then it creeps up like a thief in the night. What does exactly? Sex. Oh, sex. How do you know? You just want to be rude, right? No, but come on, you can't seriously be saying that Victoria... Melody's problem is she's never really had a family. I have a family, Daniel. Nobody ever had more family than I have. No, that's true. No, but come on, you're actually saying that Victoria and Jean-Francois... Like Francois... I said, it creeps up. One minute you're discussing Heisenberg and quantum energy, and the next minute... You're going down with her, then? How can I? I've got to finish my notes on quantum theory and the Big Bang, and I've got to crack this research project. Mm. I don't suppose you fancy giving me a hand, do you? You could bring some of your work. Oh, yes, I said I'd help you, didn't I? Yeah, well, it's not my field. I haven't done it since I left college. It's not my field, either. You did the introductory course last year. All right, I'll help you. And I'll bring the stuff by via rota. I'll see you later. All right. About seven? Lovely. OK. Oh, hi, Daniel. Hello, Victoria. Lovely girl. Lovely smile. When she smiles, the sun comes out. Piers is a lucky boy, don't you think? Have you come all this way to tell me if it was a lovely smile? No. No, I just came to tell you you can have the cabin tonight. Why? Well, I was thinking about it. I've been rather selfish. Well, I don't need it. Melody's singing at the Stardust tonight for solo sing. Never. You must be the only person who hasn't heard. I cancelled the card game. You put it back on again, then. I'll tell you what. Why don't you have the cabin anyway? It's far more comfortable in this place. Whatever you're doing. That 
explains how a super dense fireball of radiation and matter must have a temperature of of 1.1 billion degrees. 1.1 billion degrees. Don't worry, I'll get out of your hair in a minute. Oh, you're off then, Daniel. Yeah, I thought I'd go down to Space City. That's where he should be going. Yeah, I've got to do this by Honestly, tomorrow. Honestly, if I had a boyfriend, it was about to Victoria, be Victoria, please. Thing. Okay, okay. Here are some figures. Right, you've got to calculate the probability of an event, such as the emergence hang on, of hang on, quantum hang on, hang on. energy appearing from nothing. Um, for how long? Long enough to become a super dense mass. <sighs> right, so anything can happen. That's about the only certain thing about the uncertainty. And the music, perhaps. So look, given that the conditions are right, Daniel, I can't concentrate. Might it help, sir? You a bit of background noise? No, not always. What to prevent other universes appearing in other volumes of space? Don't forget that little bottle of brandy in the cupboard there. The one you said you'd shoot me like a dog if I touched it. That's the one. Well, you know what they say, don't you, Victoria? All work and no play. Yeah. I know what they say, Daniel. I just don't believe anybody ever said it to you. Daniel, I've got to finish my notes on quantum theory and I've got to find a subject for my thesis because if I can't come up with an acceptable research subject, they're right. not going to give you... No, right, um, I'll be back late, so there's no need to rush. You've got the place completely yourself. It's bright in here, isn't it? Daniel. Sorry. Right, well, I'll leave it to you then. Ah, uh, don't work too hard. Open. So, rule number one. Anything can happen in space. Funny, I always thought Brazil was a fun sort of place. Oh, perhaps it is. Perhaps I got kicked out for being miserable sods. Maybe they're missing it. The sun, the sand, the samba, the warm scented breeze stirring the bougainvillea. What the hell are they doing here? Well, at the point, what the hell are we doing here? <laughs> So, now you copy this lot, then. Huh? Just a little sideline. There's all sorts going if you keep your ear to the ground. Pays well, does it? <laughs> I'd have paid for the course out of my own pocket. But, so, uh, yeah, it's a steady little number. So there is life after redundancy, then? <laughs> Premature voluntary retirement is what they call it now, I believe. All I seem to see in the resettlement bulletin is grade two admin officer, each place worse than the previous one. Since when did you read the bulletin? I always read the bulletin. You never used to. You, uh, thinking of moving on, then? No, no. If I saw the right offer, I wouldn't turn it down. <laughs> we won't see it in the bulletin. No, stand by your beds. One whiff of a TV camera, and that's all it takes. We are in for a really fun evening. Daniel, what a surprise. I thought a glass of this might help. Settle your nerves before the show. Oh, yeah, and have you any plans for after the show? As a matter of fact, I have. Oh, forget it. We haven't heard them yet. I don't need to. Look, Daniel, this has got to stop. What has? You, oiling round me all the time. It's getting really boring. I thought you might be flattered. I don't have to go to all this trouble, you know. Don't, then. Other girls might be flattered at my advances. Oh, don't deprive them, Daniel, please. Second best isn't good enough for me. Amazing how you never give up. Well, not when it's something I think's quite worthwhile, no. And you never take no for an answer. That's because I've never heard you say it with conviction. No, Daniel. <laughs> Whatever it is you want, no. All I want is for us to be friends. <laughs> oh, I think that's the most pathetic line you've ever said. I know. Look, we are friends, OK? It's just that you make it a bit difficult for me at times. I like you in spite of everything, but I love Jean-Francois. You're wasted on him, Melody. I think you better go. Yeah. Jim. Well, what do you think? Highly speculative. Of course it's speculative. It's breaking new ground. That's virgin territory. And you want to do biomechanics? I like biomechanics. I know where I am with biomechanics. Uh, yeah, you and half a million others. Yeah, but magneto-hydrodynamics would be a total shift from chemistry to physics. They're never going to accept that. Not with your grades. I'd say you've got a free choice. If you come up with something original, they'll snap you up. I'm not so sure. But if you want to do something dull and pedestrian like biomechanics... Dull and pedestrian? By no stretch of the imagination can biomechanics be termed dull and pedestrian. Open! Head to this it is. I've got one admit it, you're interested. What? Yes, I suppose I'm vaguely interested. You're right to him, then? Hi, Anna. Hi. Are you serious? Yeah, ask his advice. I don't even know him from Adam. Anyway, I don't know where he lives. 
University of Hamburg. I've got his address. <laughs> he just happened to have his address. <laughs> if you give him a call, I'm sure he'll be only too glad to give his advice. And if he doesn't, well, it's only the cost of an earthquake. Victoria, sweetheart, I cannot call up this man and say I'm vaguely interested. I have to come up with some decent suggestions. Okay, let's put our heads together then, shall we? <laughs> Anna, hi. Now, what can I do for you? I just wondered if you might like a game of ping pong. Just a ten minute break, take your mind off things and help you cover the stress. Mm. Well, we'll see you down here, Commissar. No, I'd like to see what's going on. A little touch of Harry in the night. Pardon? Henry V, Agincourt. Another drink. Thank you, I'll have the same again. Another mineral water for the Commissioner. So, how are things on the area? Ship shape and Bristol fashion, as always. I must come and visit you sometime. Splendid. Any time you like. Make that too. song so sad? Uh, I don't know. Something to do with the climate. Always people sailing away, never to return, or dying in each other's arms. Mm, that and the food and the cricket and the warm, flat beer. Oh, come on. I thought the Germans were bad. Look at you. Huh? Life should be fun. Cheer up. You want me to cheer up? Have dinner with me. What? Tonight? I know. Forget it. OK. But OK, you'll forget it, or OK, you'll have dinner with me? OK, I'll have dinner with you. Really? Well, if you promise to lighten up a little. Anna, do you know what time it is? Three weeks to go to my exams. I always know what the time is. How's it going? Do you know what really gets me? All the others who find it so easy, but most of them aren't even interested. I really want to learn and I can't. Oh, my days are numbered. Come on. What you need is a good night's sleep. It's no good. I can't sleep. Oh, you will when I've finished with you. I'm going to take you down to the club and get you plastered. What? You heard. Well, I don't drink. What? I've never known an Italian in the history of the world who didn't drink. Well, maybe on special occasions. That's right. And this is a special occasion. The relaunch of your university career. I'm going to sort you out, Anna. How? Well, I don't know yet. But by hook or by crook, I'm going to get you through these exams. You're going to be my first big success story. That was a very nice evening, thank you. I still wish you'd let me pay. I'm rather old-fashioned. I always pay for myself. That way there's no obligation. No, I don't suppose there would be. So what happens next? I'm new, remember? Coffee in the refectory? Coffee? Well, we could um, slip down to the club, have a nightcap. Oh, I had enough to drink. Oh. Well, just enough. Well, then we could um, take a turn around the dome. Well, and we have a look at the stars, and you try to remember some poetry? It's pretty much the sort of thing, yeah. Well, I've seen the stars, Daniel. And I'm all out of poetry. So, what's it to be, then? Your place or mine? You're right to him, then? Yeah. You're going to tell me to get lost? He won't. I'll keep on it until you do, you know. I know. <laughs> I'm terrible, aren't I? You know, it's really nice to have someone to talk these things over with. I do appreciate that. You've got lots of people you can talk to. Mm, Melody's a lot of fun, huh? I love her very much, but quite honestly, she doesn't know what PhD stands for. Are you still here? Daniel. Oh, look, what sort of time do you call this? What will Melody say? What's it got to do with you any... I'm sorry. Victoria. Daniel! I'm going to have to ask you to leave. It's OK, I was leaving anyway. Let's go. Uh, you too, Jean, please. Out. Go. What go. the hell's go. going on? Out. I'm sorry. I will explain later. It's an emergency. Now go, please. Go. Go where? Go to the club. Go and have a nightcap. Go and play chess. Just give me an hour. Please. Shaking, that's silly. It was fine at the time. <laughs> Finish that one off. I'll get you another one. Excuse me. Do you think you went all right? I mean, if you don't, tell me now. I'd rather. Melody, worry. for the three hundredth time, it was absolutely fine. There were loads of people in. Yeah, loads. Even the commissioner was there. Don't you think that was nice? I thought that was nice. Well, yeah, he's a nice man. Very nice man. You know, I think this thing's bigger than they were telling me. What? Well, they said it was just a local news story, but everybody seemed to be taking it really seriously. And, and they sent a, a shuttle up and <laughs> Melody, a greasy turned up. Melody, what are you getting at? Well, I don't know. Maybe someone big's going to see it. <laughs> or some big impresario or something. <laughs> what, up here? Well, yeah, they're not just putting it out up here. They're, it's going to 
Saturn, Mars, every a everywhere. A star is born. And I'll be able to tell my grandchildren that I lent them my best earrings. Sarah, don't laugh. But I'm not laughing. John Cross, well, I could pursue his academic career. He'd never have to do a proper job, and he'd be proud of me. Oh, don't be daft, Melody. He already is proud of you. Oh, he thinks I'm a bit lazy. You? Never. Have you seen Vanda? Hello, Daniel. Hello, Anna. Have you seen Vanda? Have you had a nice evening? I've had a nice evening. Good, I'm really pleased for you. Uh, Vanda, Anna, Vanda, you must have seen her. She was coming here. She was meeting me here. I'm going to pass my exams, Daniel. Uh, that's good. Where's Vanda? I don't know how we're going to do it, but Rebecca is going to sort me out. I'm really pleased for you. I like Rebecca, don't you? Yes. I'm going to bed now, Daniel. Good, you do that. Good night, Daniel. Good night, Anna. Vanda. Come on, go on, admit it. You've thought I've changed my mind. Run it on a bit. Oh, must we? <laughs> Hold it right there. Well? There is a University of Salvador. It was launched at the end of 48. Protoplanetary venture. But what are they doing here? Looking for primordial material. They've asked for data on rare isotope frequencies and heavy metal chemistry in the outer moons. They don't look like astrophysicists. <laughs> astrophysicists never do. Information on heavy metals is restricted. I am aware of that. Okay, let's get these pictures back to Earth and check them out.